Close to 150 different schools have won at least one state baseball title, but only 16 have won of three or more. Well, a victory today for Defiance of the Bulldogs will join that exclusive club as they send future Miami Redhawk Michael Hendricks to the mound against Poland Seminary. Defiance Bulldogs scoring six runs in their final two innings to easily beat Big Walnut 8-1 yesterday, while the Poland Seminary Bulldogs had to sweat out a 2-0 victory over Bishop Waterson. A picture-perfect day for baseball at Huntington Park. Defines the visitors and they waste no time. Top of the first, two on for Tyler Weaver. Designated hitter designates this hit as a ribby. Garrett Sierra is going to score from second as Defines grabs the early lead. Next batter, Gage Cordray. Blooper falls into shallow left center. Shea Smitty comes around from second and Defines up two to nothing. And the visiting Bulldogs not done. Jimmy Bauer, two extra base hits in yesterday's win. Continues the hot swinging as he goes left center gap, plating pinch runner Chris Gordon on the double. It's a three run first inning for Defiance. Top of the second after Wes Detter singled and stole second. Smitty goes to the right center gap. It's a two out double, and Detter comes around to score to make it four nothing Defiance. In the home half, Poland responds. Man on second. Nick Romeo pulls the two out offering into left field. Jarrett Burkert scores. Poland would get a second run in the second on an error, cutting the Defiance lead in half. Bottom of the third after a leadoff single, Michael Hendricks gets the comebacker and starts the 1-6-3 double play to get out of the jam. Go to the top of the fourth. Defiance with two outs. Detter reaches base, steals second again, and once again, Smitty drives him home. A 5-2 lead for Defiance. Smitty two for three with two runs driven in. Detter scored a pair as well. 5-3 game now in the fifth. Defiance second and third with one out. Breeden Frederick, a liner relief pitcher. Matt Baker makes the grab and doubles up Bauer. Tough break for Defiance. Head to the bottom of the sixth. Still a 5-3 game. Poland loads the bases with two outs. Hendricks strikes out Eric White as Defiance three outs away from the title. In the seventh, after a one-out single, they bring in Shea Smitty in relief of Hendricks. Smitty got the win yesterday. He comes into today's game and he picks up the save as Defiance wins 5-3 the final. Third baseball title in the last two years. Third Second title last three years, third title overall for Detter, Smitty, and Braden Frederick, and well in the whole Defiance community. It's two state titles this season as they also picked up that basketball state crown. Hendricks with six and a third, struck out seven, broke out a new pitch late in the game to rave reviews. What's amazing is Michael uh, has come so, so far. He's always thrown hard. He was able to get a scholarship to Miami, but he always struggled to throw strikes. He stayed the course and he worked and he worked and he developed a changeup in the offseason to be able to get that pitch he could throw for a strike. He still had no slider that he could throw for a strike or a curveball. And he's worked at it and he's worked at it and he's worked at it, but we still didn't trust it. Coach Weaver said state championship might be the time you use it. He used it the last three innings and he got four strikeouts on that slider that he had not used the entire season. Amazing story. Oh, it's a dream come true, you know. It's something you dream about your entire life and we live the dream today. And that's Greatest thing ever. It's incredible. It's an awesome feeling back to back and we've all believed we could do it and we were a great team and our bond was incredible and got it done. Before even the basketball team did that, you know, we knew uh, we were going to have a great season, but seeing the basketball team do it, you know, we told ourselves, you know, uh, they could do it, we can do it. So we just went out there and played a, played a heck of a season and finished it off right. You want to talk about March. I was fortunate enough to do the radio for our basketball team. And, and to uh, watch that thrill in the community that su surrounds the, the kids. And, 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 and get, I get to watch it more as a spectator than a coach. And to see the kids' faces and to see uh, those kids you have in class and to win that first state ch championship in basketball was really special. That helped our kids. That helped our seniors. They saw what they went through. And they had that goal. They wanted to do the same thing and get back to Columbus and have a chance. And uh, it was special and it happened.